and you keep going and you keep going and there's storms coming and there's hail coming and you don't have anything to cover yourself you're hungry you haven't eaten for two days you don't have any water it's cold you're freezing and you're going to this passage and then what happens is if you hang in there and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going and there are moments you want to give up but somehow they give you a hand and they lift you up and then eventually you're going to see some light at the end of the passage and when you finish and you come on the other side of the passage then they come and say good girl you you know we're gonna give you a break so now you enter in this beautiful garden it's beautiful grass flowers everything fruits food temperature is good it's safe warm loving right now you're going through this passage that's where you're at yes absolutely. it is a test yeah and you're being tested yes. now maybe you can't do anything about your economic situation obviously you can't do anything about COVID-19 we can't do anything to take things back in the old days no. <laughs> and the mind starts to come and there's mind bombardments. So it's like you wake up in the morning and the B-52s are bombarding, you know, when they were bombarding, I don't know, Vietnam or Saigon or whatever, B-52s. You remember during the 70s, you're seeing all these bombs falling down? So your mind is really bombarding, bombarding you. So what do you do how do you deal with this you can't change your finances and where you are and you can't change the climate of where we're at with the virus and blah 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 so what is it I can do what parts can I change what you can do is the recognition of what is happening to recognize it means the awareness comes and recognizing what's going on and what happens is the mind starts to bombard bombarding you with all these worries and fears and everything of what's going to happen to me what's going to happen to me what's going to happen to me in if you know me it's all about what's going to happen to me it's the i thought me okay mm -hmm. me I'm the most important person in this world to me there's no one else more important than me to me <laughs> you may say what a selfish spiritual teacher <laughs> what a selfish spiritual teacher but I have to tell you the truth. I'm the most important person in this world to me. <laughs> I come first. I'm sorry. I love you. Mom, I love you, but I come first. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't come second. When you first wake up, and you and like everybody else on the planet, there are 7 billion people, they say, on the planet, which I don't know. There could be like 700,000 people on the planet. I have no idea how many people there are. They can give me any number they want. Every single person who wakes up in the morning, their first thought that goes to their mind is the same thought. I don't care you're white, black, Indian, a Chinese you practice Judaism Catholicism or Muslim or whatever you do everyone has the same thought when they wake up in the morning and that thought is me is the I thought I am I am Zarathustra I am a man I'm Persian I'm American I'm da 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 da, -da. I'm a teacher I'm I'm a dad I'm a mom whatever is the story your story comes with this thought of I and naturally the I thought me 
who's the most important person on the planet to me, is concerned with its well-being. And that's a quality that it's been endowed and it's been registered in our DNA when we were born because the unit needs to take care of itself and and the unit wants to self-preserve itself otherwise at your very first encounter in the jungle with the first tiger you would be food for the tiger so you got to learn to run away and protect yourself and your family so me I is is the major part what's going to happen to me and even when we come to a meeting like this you're not going to come back again to this webinar if you don't get something out of it so what's your first question when you come here inside what's 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 in there for me okay why don't I go watch another seminar that's about how to create more wealth in real estate? Because the me inside is not interested in that. The me here is inside is interested in freedom. So what's in it for me always comes back to the I thought, me, I. Now, this I is only happy, this me, we call him Zarathustra is only happy when he gets what he wants. So I joke with my friends, I'm a very easy person to satisfy. Just give me the best of everything. And as long as everybody does, as long as everything goes my way, I don't have a problem. As long as everything goes my way in this life, I don't have a problem, I'm very happy. I'm only not happy when things don't go my way. Sometimes things go your way, the other times don't go your way. So what happens when things don't go my way and things get heated up and it gets really difficult in life? What parts of it gets difficult? It gets difficult because I'm not getting what I want. I'm not getting what I think I deserve. I'm, or I'm not even getting my needs met, my basic needs. I need a bed. I need a roof over my head. I need some heat. I need water, electricity. These are basic needs I have, and I'm not getting those either. But I should be getting it because I'm worthy, because I, I work hard, because I'm whatever age I am, I should be getting these things and I'm not getting these things. So what happens then? What happens is because I have a preference, I do prefer this to go my way. I want things to go my way. I want to get what I want and I'm not getting what I want. So then I start to suffer because I have a preference. I prefer things to go this way. So when things don't go my way, I suffer. Suffering comes. If there is two things here, if you can develop an attitude, you can just incorporate things in your life. And I'm not just talking to you, Suzanne, I'm talking to everybody. Uh, all, my, all the audience all over the world, whether you're watching me live or you're later on watching this video, or if it's a podcast, whatever it is, is here we are. Here's the key. If I can develop this within myself, an indifference and no preference, if I can be a person who doesn't, who doesn't have an attachment to his preference. I prefer the weather to be like the way it is right now in Los Angeles because I love it. Maybe a little bit cooler because I don't <laughs> like cold and I don't do well. But it's not the way I want it all the time. Half of the time or most of the time it's different. And if I really have a strong attachment to 
things must go this way and they don't go this way, then I'm going to suffer because I have an attachment to the results.